1994, that's when we started no noticing the rise in front wheel drive cars. So we packed everything up, truck and trailer, went up to the racetrack, only to find out that the event was a Ford only event or some sort of all domestic event. Basically, you needed to have a domestic vehicle to participate in the event. So the people at the front gate simply told me either pay and park or turn around and go home. You know, after bitching at them for about 15 minutes about how they should have at least put it on their machine, this never would have happened, I uh, just turned around and went home. You know, these people, first of all, have never seen a small import car. Uh, or maybe it was because we had a car full of Asian people. I mean, this was back in 1990 in Palmdale. I mean, who knows what the mentality was up there. The guys with the sport compact cars would try to take their cars to the to the uh, drag strips. You know, they get laughed off the strip by the by the V8 guys, so to speak, the the push rod guys versus the overhead cam guys. Now, now what what kind of cars do you like? Do you like it? You, see, you you seem like the little Honda type. Basically, <laughs> I wanted to voice my opinion to the racetrack, so I called him up, explained to him the situation, and at first he really didn't sound like he cared. So. We hung up, I called him back probably about a week later, set up a meeting, and I said to him, look, I'm interested in renting out the racetrack, and I would like to have an all import event. Basically out of spite to possibly be able to turn away a domestic car and say, hey, look, either pay and park or turn around and go home. Well, we went to go to Palmdale, and that's where Battle of the Import started. Frank Choi started all this for everybody. So, you know, we have him to thank. He had an import event, and we all went up there and saw like all of our buddies racing. Frank Choi is like the godfather of import drag racing, you know, I mean, well, compact performance drag racing, call it now, but Battle of the Imports was the first, was, you know, he's our, he's our big willy, you know, I mean, he brought, he brought racing. No one would, no one would allow him and his kind of cars to, to run at the tracks, so he said, well, you know what, I'm going to book you know, LACR up at Palmdale, and I'll book that track, and I'll I'll just have my own guys. No V8s allowed. How's that? You know, he spun it back around. He said, as long as you pay the rent, I could care less if you have an all-import event or a picnic. We practically knew everybody that was there, but we probably had somewhere close to about 60, 70 cars and maybe like 500 people show up. The event started at about 11 a.m. and I think it was over at 2. <laughs> the betting still continued out of the track and it was still like a street racing element, but it was in a, in a safe environment and it was actually, there's no more, you know, who won, you know, you can't tell at the end, you know, you had time slips and everything, it was, it was legitimate for us. I know that they had some problems up in Palmdale with the first couple of events because they had you know, and I could be exaggerating because of the rumor mill here, but I hear about knifings in hotel parking lots and riots at the drag strip and all that other kind of stuff. That could be exaggerated. I think we put Palmdale on the map. When we first started Battle in 1990, people were calling me asking me what state Palmdale was in. They didn't know that it was, you know, 65 miles northeast of <laughs> Los Angeles. As a matter of fact, I think a Starbucks is finally up in Palmdale. You know, it took a while, but a lot of people found affordable housing up there because they finally did something with all that land. Walmarts and Home Depots and Costco's. I know it brings a whole lot of money to the local economy. I know it's the biggest race. In fact, Bernie at LACR was telling me it's the biggest race that they do every year. So I think as long as the youth generation continues to express themselves, you know, through their cars, I think this particular import industry will be around for a very long time.